Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, I'm going to start doing these weekly recaps again. I used to do them uh, a while back. Uh, I'm going to start doing them again. Uh, before I get to any of the trips, I had, uh, I had a trip where I went down to Brownsville uh, during the week. And uh, this, is something, this is something we deal with at times. You know, you try to get unloaded earlier than what the delivery time is because you get there early or whatnot. And so you're going to try and get it offloaded early so you can get back in service and uh, get ready for the next run. So uh, I busted my ass to get down there. I picked up like uh, Monday morning, got loaded at about 10 a.m. Eastern. And I was told that they'd be open till 5 or 6 Central uh, the following day on Tuesday. So I busted ass to get down there. I ended up getting down there at uh, 238 Central. 238 Central on Tuesday. So I'm in there with the guard and I'm, you know, getting, you know, she's getting all my information and whatnot. She calls inside and she uh, is talking with the receiver. And they're like, yeah, send him back to ramp, to the ramp by uh, Doc 20. So she's like, okay, go to, go ahead and go to the ramp. And uh, they're, you know, they're saying their cordial goodbye or whatever. And then, then the receiver's like, oh, hey, it's after 2.30. Like, can't take it. Click. Eight minutes, man. Eight minutes. So, uh, trying to, trying to, you know, get the guard, see if I can get any love from the guard, you know, like, man, I'm, you know, and, and now mind you, now I should have mentioned this before, is I had gotten booked earlier in the day since I was going to arrive there so early. I was going to arrive, arrive there at 2.30, you know, roughly 2.30, 80s when I got there. So, had plenty of time, so they pre-booked me on something picking up that night at 9 o'clock going from Brownsville up to Ohio, 1,700 miles. Okay, so I'm like, all right, sweet, man. This is this is perfect. Uh, this is what you hope for. This, this is like an ideal situation. You know, this is what you always hope for, especially going to a border town. So uh, fast forward again, talking to the guard, telling her, you know, man, I got this load tonight. There's, you know, is there somebody I can speak to? Is there somebody else that I can talk to, you know, or can you call him back and, you know, let him know, like, hey, you know, he's got a load lined up. Can we just rip this one skid off of him real quick? Now, mind you, again, I'm one skid, one skid, one skid. Did I mention that was one skid? So, uh, the 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 guard, which is a older lady, she's just like, man, I understand. My husband's a truck driver, but eh, I mean, you, it's almost like she was afraid to call back in there. So I'm like, you got a phone number or something I can call? And she's like looking for a phone number. She's like, I don't have a phone number to the supervisor. So I'm like, all right. So I go out to the van, and I'm Googling the company. I'm trying to find a contact name. In the meantime, I've called dispatch, let them know. They're trying to contact the customer and have the customer get in touch with the with the uh, location I'm at. You know, they're working on that. I'm working on my end. I can't get any number. You know, find a couple numbers, but they're not working. Uh, you know, either they call and it hangs up right away, or it, it takes me to a prompt that I don't need, or, you know, so... Uh, sitting out there waiting and waiting on site it's about 3 15 now and uh the lady from receiving comes out she comes up to me and she's uh she's telling me yeah we quit receiving at 2 30 and you know there, there's just nothing we can do and i'm giving her the same spiel like you know i busted butt to get down here like if i'd have known i needed to get here at 2 30 you know i would have been here by 2 30 i said i was told i had it till five or six and she's like well who did who told you that I said, well, I'm not sure who told me that, but dispatch called whoever they called, which I'm assuming is our customer that we got the load from, and they informed us that we could get there five or six. And she's like, well, we ship until nine o'clock. Did you hear that? They ship till nine o'clock, which means they've got people driving tow motors in the same facility where I need to unload. And so, uh, I tell her I tell her that part and she's like, Well, I don't know why they would tell you that. It's two thirty. And I'm like, But I got a load tonight, two thirty. I'm like, but I really busted at two thirty. Uh I'm like you know, I'm gonna lose out on seventeen two thirty. So uh you know, it's a little aggravating because you know, you wanna flip. You kinda wanna flip shit, especially when you're a little a little tired, you know, you're a little cranky and Mind you, got 1,700 miles sitting there on the freaking hook that I'm about to lose out on because I can't get this unloaded because I got there eight minutes past 2.30.
So, uh, as I said, just kind of, it wasn't getting no rhythm there, obviously. So, uh, that kind of was frustrating. And again, you know, you, you kind of want to get mouthy with them, and some drivers do. But the if you're thinking about it, you don't get mouthy with them because it's not affecting just me if I get mouthy with that lady. You know, it's affecting everybody else that's with the same carrier I'm with. Because they could be like, hey, we just don't want their that carrier on site anymore. We just, we don't want them bringing here. If you if you call them to carry your load, we ain't going to allow them in. So that can affect more than just me. And so, yeah, that was a tough one to swallow, man. But it, it happens, you know. I can't say that that one's ever happened to me before to where I was only eight minutes past and they wouldn't take it. Normally, if you're a few minutes past, probably about a 20-minute window if somebody's still on site and you only got one skid in the back. Uh, you know, I understand when they don't want to, you know, that's why I always tell them when I arrive, like, I'm in the van, I got one skid. Because normally when they call into shipping or receiving, or, or I should say receiving, and they tell them got somebody out here needs to, un you know, needs to unload, they automatically think a truck loads. They're like, fuck, man, we're not going to sit here and spend 30, another 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so unloading a truck. So you always make sure it's one van. But, yeah, usually one skid, they're going to rip that thing right off, man. They're usually, you know, usually not much problem. I, that was the first time I've ever had, like, but, you know, I, I got his one. They're like, 230. It's like, but I got 1,700 miles. 230. So, yeah, man, it was a pain in the ass. So, that was just, I just wanted to talk about that one real quick before I got into uh, uh, how my week went as far as load-wise. All right, let's, let's get into it. So, I picked up on Friday. Our work week starts Thursday, well, Friday morning at 12.01 a.m. So, uh, basically just say Friday. So, Friday I picked up, picked up out of Pennsylvania with the load going to New Philadelphia, Ohio, and it was initially not supposed to deliver until Monday morning. Uh, so the plan was just go home. I live like 45 minutes from New Philadelphia. Uh, so I went home Friday night, uh, called, got up Saturday morning. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna call him. Just gonna find out. And the reason I called, uh, I had called Friday actually, and was told that they don't receive over the weekend. Now. I'm looking at the place online, I'm looking at Google Maps, and I'm checking out the, what the place looks like, and it looks like it's like a storefront. It's an electric company, so it's it just got some kind of storefront to it. So uh, I wake up Saturday, I'm like, I'm just going to give them a call. I'm gonna, let's just see what they say down there. So I give them a call like 9 a.m., 9.15 uh, Eastern uh, Saturday morning and ask them if they receive it all. And they're like, well, if you get it down here by noon, you know, we'll rip it off of you. So, you know, if you can get down here by noon, I was like, sweet. So jumped up brushed my teeth got dressed and shot down there and got it unloaded uh and it was the owner of the company so uh everything was cool there uh so yeah went back to the house got myself in service you know a little early instead of being out of service all that time uh you always want to be in services you know as soon as you can just in case something pops up that pre-books which is what ended up happening i didn't get anything the rest of saturday or sunday but i got called sunday morning for a load picking up monday and that load picking up Monday was the one I took to Brownsville. Picked up out of Michigan, went down to Brownsville, Texas. And, uh, yeah, that one was, uh, let me see. I got it written down. That one was 1,593 miles down to Brownsville. I already told you all that shit I just went through trying to get it unloaded. So I couldn't get the 1,700-mile run. So they ended up having, like a, like, a backup load, which is... Like, like the luck of that is 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 just amazing down there in the border towns so they've got a backup load to compensate me for that one they just went ahead and they was going to have somebody else take that one and me take the longer one you know broker the other one out so this so they just ended up switching it back they had to make that have the other company come get 1700 miles and they gave me the load picking up the following morning going up to arkansas it was like 800 and some odd miles and so it's like sweet man i still got at least got a load so go over there the next morning following morning uh which is uh wednesday morning go over there to pick up hey man we ain't got no freight here for you i'm like okay so i called dispatch i'm telling them uh the guy at the place i'm picking up he's calling his other location he's like yeah we got we got another location a location in mexico and a location down the road so they're looking into it and he's just finally like yeah we're not showing it 
And I'm sitting there, and then a few minutes later, dispatch calls. Hey, the furnace went down in the in the factory. They couldn't make the product. They didn't notify anybody. Dry run. Sweet. Lost 1,700 mile run the night before. Lost the 800 some mile run now. Like, fuck it. What can you do, man? Uh, getting pissed off ain't gonna do no good. I mean, maybe a couple of tears or something is cool, but nah. Uh, so chalk that up. Put in uh, the nearest truck stop, and was heading towards the truck stop. And believe it or not, like 10 minutes later, on my way to the truck stop, bam, got another load. So that one was picking up ASAP. That one went up to uh, up into the St. Louis area. So that one ended up being just about 1,200 miles. So it all worked out, man. Like like the luck of that is so rare to be able to get loads like that that quick down there in a border town, and especially paying it play it paid regular rate, which is which is 95 cents a mile. So, it just, just like, as you see, I'm just kind of speechless. So, I was just lucky as hell. I was fortunate as hell. So, uh, yeah, went out there to uh, to the St. Louis area, dropped off out there, got unloaded out there first thing Thursday, hung out all there all day, caught up on some sleep, didn't get nothing, ended up relocating into, uh, over to, uh, over near uh, Arkansas, near the office. And uh, sat there, and yeah, didn't didn't get anything the rest of Thursday. So that finished out that work week. So the work week finished with a run of two seventy eight, fifteen ninety three, and a run of eleven eighty three, for a total of three thousand and fifty four miles for the week. Those were the loaded miles. Uh, deadhead miles ended up being two hundred and twenty five deadhead miles. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen somewhere here there somewhere. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to get that to you guys, man. That was my week and uh I will get to you on the next week and I will start doing these each week. Uh sorry for the two week hiatus. Kind of just been kind of hectic uh and and a lot of procrastinating in there. So uh yeah, I'm going to get back uh try and get these things back rolling again, man. So you guys all be safe.